All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design. Learn HTML forms by building a registration form. Step 19. All right. So specifying the type attribute of a form element is important for the browser to know what kind of data it should expect. If the type is not specified, the browser will default to text, all right? So like we saw uh, last one, or maybe two ago, when we were looking at the input types, uh, the default's gonna be text, all right? So now we're gonna give the first two input elements a type attribute of text, the third a type attribute of email, and the fourth a type attribute of password. The email type only allows emails with ats and periods in the domain, and then the uh, password type obscures the input and warns if the site does not use HTTPS. Okay. So let's come over here and look up uh, input type HTML. How about that? So here we are at the input types and you'll see there's all these different kinds. And uh, basically what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna put input, inside of the input we'll put the type in whichever types we're gonna use. And since we're already gonna use text on the first one, let's just take this one, why don't we? Uh, <laughs> and what did it say to do? We're, we're going to put it in the input. Okay, and let's take the let's take the space while we're at it. Copy that. All right. And so we're going to put it in the input. Let's put it uh, right here. Drop it off right there, and then in the second one right here. All right. And so now we're going to put email and password. So let's just let's just drop it off two more times, uh, and then we'll just change it in the other ones. All right. How about that? Okay. And. Uh, this is looking so dirty right now. Let's put spaces in between these as well so we can focus a little bit better. How about that? All right, so we already did these two, text, text, and now this one's gonna be email. So let's change this to email, thusly. And let's change this one to password, password. How about that? And so now this one's gonna obscure the text. This one's not gonna do anything unless we have a, uh, well, we don't have a submit button yet, but it's not gonna do anything unless there's an at something dot blah, blah, blah. Uh, and so let's check the code. Looks good and submit it. All right. What? What? <laughs> anyway, now we're on to step 20 and we'll see you next time.